was the biggest surprise of the year, this year's list to you? I guess probably the number of quarterbacks in the top 10. Uh, you know, for the most part Four in football, them. yeah. And if you compare NBA and NFL to MLB, it's never a contest. Mm -hmm. I mean, the list is mostly, well, almost half last year, and this year 20 baseball players. Sure. So compared to last year, you've got four quarterbacks in the top 10 instead of two. And it's all because they get these huge signing bonuses. And we use last season's numbers. So these are guys who got a new contract just before last season. And, you know, Aaron Rodgers, $35 million signing bonus. Stafford, $23.5 million signing bonus. That's crazy. Yeah, and it has to be the signing bonuses because their contracts are famously not guaranteed, whereas sure. baseball and the NBA are guaranteed. I noticed one thing about the quarterbacks, and one of them is Tony Romo. Tony Romo is the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. You would think this is a lucrative position for him endorsement-wise, <laughs> yet only $1.5 million in endorsements. I'm surprised. Sure. I mean, other people might say that that's high because, you know, he's really not – one of the most recognizable quarterbacks in the league, I'd say. He's not one of the top tier guys. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's probably due to a combination of performance and not being in the biggest media market. I mean, if you're the quarterback in you know, New York or yeah. over in LA, you know, LA doesn't have a team, but, but New yeah. England, you can get big endorsement deals and you're a big face, but it may be hard from Dallas, especially he hasn't won enough but he has one big deal from starter. And that's the case often with these football guys is they have one or two brands that endorse them, but it's a very lucrative multi-year deal. Yep. Uh, notable absences on the list this year. Jeter, A-Rod, Drew Brees, Dale Earnhardt. Which one was surprising to you? Well, Dale Earnhardt is interesting. I mean, uh, most people expect to see him on there, and he's definitely still the face of the sport. But if you look at the actual race winnings mm -hmm. from 2013, Jimmy Johnson had three times as much. And Dale wasn't even in the top eight, I don't think. I think he was number 10 overall. So he definitely still has the most endorsements of any racer, but it just wasn't enough to compete. So. Why not Drew Brees? Drew is everywhere, it seems like. Sure. He has a good number of endorsement deals. I think maybe 8.5 million. Um, and he's definitely coming up. You know, he's crafted, he's an interesting case for me. He's crafted kind of a dad family image. Mm -hmm. All of his endorsement deals are, are products that, you know, work in the family and in the house. Mm -hmm. He's doing Tide, he's doing Dove. But on the field, it's just not enough compared to last year. Last year, he was the guy who had the huge signing bonus and, and was, I think, in the top 10. And next year, you'll see guys like Cutler, Kaepernick, guys who got a huge signing bonus for their new deal that's going to apply this coming season. There were a few golfers on the list, two to be exact. <laughs> Phil and Tiger can't get out of each other's shadow there. This year, Phil passed Tiger Woods. Was that because of their golfing and their earnings uh, for on the course, or was that endorsements? Phil did earn more on the course in the 12 months we measure, yeah. but only by a little. And actually what's interesting is both of them, they were only ninth and 10th overall. I mean, they were guys who won a lot more from actual golf, but those guys don't have the endorsements. Yeah. But uh, we believe that Tiger has uh, a lot less in endorsements than you see elsewhere. And in fact, you know, he's often quoted at a certain number on other lists that I can just tell you is wrong and way high. Yeah, there you guys have an entirely different international list, but because mm -hmm. the World Cup is going on right now, I'm wondering about soccer players. Would any of them have made like a top 10 of if we were just going athletes across the board? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, we like to keep it separate. We just think that's kind of fun and it allows a few guys to be at the very top of both lists. But, you know, if it was all combined into one, Ronaldo would be way up there, you know, second, right below Mayweather. Messi would be on it. Manny Pacquiao would be high, although he's lost almost all of his endorsement deals from being knocked out mm -hmm. at his last fight. But, uh, yeah, I, I think I like keeping them separate because you look over the international and then it's like, oh, soccer time. <laughs> I mean, it's all soccer salaries. They just go up, up, up. There's no limit on those. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this clip from our daily live show, SI Now. You can find a link to the complete episode in the description box below. And while you're there, make sure you subscribe to Sports Illustrated YouTube channel. It's not just SI Now, it's girls in bikinis because we got your back. Remember, you can watch SI Now Monday through Friday live at 1 p.m. Eastern only on SI.com. We hope to see you there with the girls in bikinis.